Dude. All I heard was Richard and nude. <laughs> and I looked up. I'm like, hey, what, what's going over there? All right, so it's National Lipstick Day. Noreen Young is back. And normally, you know, when you do a lipstick segment, someone comes on, they bring lipstick. Not Noreen Young. No, no, no. She came to the party, and I have no idea what any of this stuff is. So welcome back. Uh, I like the collection that you have here. Please walk us through. Well, it's my favorite day of the year, National <laughs> Lipstick Day, because I think a woman without lipstick is like a day without sunshine. So one of the things we need is a nice mouth, and the mouth looking puckered up and fabulous. And sometimes women need to exercise their mouth. So hence, that's what this is all about. You actually put this inside your mouth, and it's an exerciser to tighten the skin, to help with a double chin, and to make your lips look luscious. And I just thought it was just a fun little thing that you'd like. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, I also have a variety of lipsticks, and I wanted to share with you the trend are high pigmented lipsticks, not boring beige anymore, okay? Now, sometimes you could wear these colors, but it looks kind of like uh, neutral and non-existent on the right. mouth. When you use something with a little more body, full body, it's, it's beautiful. So, I'm wearing wearing a red, and uh, red is a great color to pull off with a pair of sunglasses, and you just go about your day. There are so many different kinds of lips. They come in tubes, they come in wands, they come in sticks. They're just not your mother's lipstick anymore. And speaking of that, you know, when you talk about the color, you know, decades ago, they're really, you would go dark or you'd go red. Right. And that was kind of it. And now people are getting really creative and playful, if you will, with the colors that they're picking. Yes, and that's what I love about lipstick. It's so playful, like this one. It's lipstick tubes in a matchstick book. Wow, so that's ready to go. You just yes. put it on? so you pull one and then you rub you it on your lips. On? <laughs> no light. <laughs> and then one of the pesky things ladies don't like are lipstick on their teeth. Right. So I came across a lovely product called Lipstuck, and it's by these two lovely girls who also have to be in the beauty industry, and they come in a variety of fabulous colors. This is a baking mold kind of silicone. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And you take this, you could grab that, okay. and I will demo it for you, not in my mouth, but to tell them. Uh, you put this in your mouth to this little dent, bite down, preferably this is dry, okay? Bite down, and after you've put on your beautiful lipstick, it will get any remainder so it doesn't ah. go to your teeth. Because you know, there's a trend they've been doing where they put the finger in the mouth to remove any remainder off the lips. I don't know if you know this. Do not. Yeah, they do the <laughs> do finger in the mouth. <laughs> So not pretty. Yeah. And, and then it's all over your fingers. This is also going to save the planet because it's not going to be, uh, it's washable, reusable, but you're not using a tissue to blot the lips. Yeah, I mean, this is something, again, everybody could use that puts on lipstick, so that's a, a great yes. thing, yeah. And <laughs> it, it travel friendly and yeah. comes with these lovely lids. Now also, uh, Glamour Gourmet made these for me for my studio and I had to share them with you. She put me on a cookie. And um, <laughs> these are uh, lipstick tubes. These are luscious lips and these are luscious lips Oreos, all in uh, celebration of today. And by the way, we have to tell the ladies two things. Wash your lipstick tubes down with a little bit of vodka. <laughs> Believe it or not, not drinking it, wiping them down. And that will kill germs. And it and kills like germs. Okay. You could use rubbing alcohol, but I, I like But this. vodka's more fun. Yeah, yeah it is right. more fun. And then always throw out your lipstick tube, ladies. What you want to make sure is you don't keep it forever. And sometimes you keep it forever in a drawer, and then you forget about them, and then you go to use them. And can I have you smell this? Yeah, it doesn't smell the best. Right. Yeah. yeah. So it's rancid. So you don't want rancid lipsticks. Is there an expiration date on lipstick? Like, like how long should you keep it? You know, that's a great question. It depends upon the brand. They do have a good shelf life of a year or more, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes even longer. But w if it smells funky, throw it out. Yeah. And you were also saying, too, before we were on, that if you have a cold or something like that, maybe get rid of it because it can be contaminated. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Wipe it down and also throw out your toothbrush. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go. All right, so to learn more, you can give Noreen a call, 904-739-2560, or you could visit her on beautycandy.wordpress.com. Noreen, thank you so much. Stick around, more to come right after this.